Uh, just no defense. You know, I mean, we gave up uh, 66 in the paint tonight. We only scored 38. I mean, that, that is a huge discrepancy in the paint. And all year long, I think we've been a top five paint scoring team. So um, that's that's a number that can't happen. And then the uh, transition, they just got out and ran. You know, missed shot layup, turnover layup. Only 11 turnovers, but for 18 points. Um, and then I think, you know, we're up one uh, at halftime. We got off to a decent start in the third. And then it just fell apart in, in a hurry. I think they went on at one point a 28 to 9 run. And they had nine fast break points in that third quarter alone while shooting 64%. Um, just nothing, nothing went right tonight. You know, uh, we didn't play well. I didn't coach well. Uh, give Chicago credit. Um, that's not who we've been all year long. I can't remember the last time we had a game like this. Well, uh, Memphis uh, would be the one that pops to mind a week or two ago. But um, let's go down to San Antonio and try to get uh, get back to playing to our standards. Move the ball, make plays. I felt we took a lot of bad shots tonight. Four shots, one on one, and uh, the ball wasn't popping; it was sticking, and that poor offense led to poor defense. Did you think Jamal was distracted at all? Just trying to get get past that. Like you even said three games, just move past this. I don't know. I mean, obviously, uh, not accustomed to seeing Jamal go four of 15 from the field, one of seven from three. Um, I hope it's not. You know, I mean, obviously, it's just a matter of time, you know, until he, he makes one more. He's a new all time leader. So uh, we believe in Jamal. We, we know that he, along with everybody else, we know we're a better team than we just played tonight. Disappointing. And uh, obviously, we'll watch some film to, to, to look at why. Um, it was such a lopsided loss after being up one at halftime. But it's always going to start with the defense for us, and our defense tonight was just uh, just not there. Coach, it still seems like that bench unit is really struggling to gel a bit. What do you think goes into that in, in a night like tonight where maybe the offense isn't gelling, the defense isn't gelling? What, what do you identify first and foremost? I mean, you just said it. I mean, they, they like our starters, they struggled on both ends of the floor. You know, I said in one of the timeouts, I said, listen, start one quarter, it was like 7-2, to 9-2 to two for Chicago. I said, listen, if we're struggling on the offensive end, all right, that may happen at times, but we can't allow that to trickle down to the defense. We got to get stops, rebounds, and runouts, get some easy ones. And uh, we didn't do that tonight. You know, um, we've been a top four transition team all year. We only had five fast break points tonight. So we played against a very handsy, very physical defense in the half court all night long. And that, that can't be the case. So um, just trying to find consistency with that unit, Ryan, somehow, some way. And to your point, you know, that's been a challenge so far. And, um, you know, it's, it's up to me as a head coach to, to help Reggie and Jamal and Bruce and Jeff and Thomas to, uh, to play better. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do moving forward. Yeah, I mean, our offense was disjointed all year, all, all night long. I mean, I, I can't probably count on both hands how many times we actually came down and played our style of basketball, executed, moved the ball, uh, drove, kick. I, I just felt like there were a lot of zero pass shots, one pass shots tonight, and that's not who we are. It was just a very out of character game for us on both ends all night long. Um, and I think, you know, when you get down and you're down by double figures, sometimes you're trying to get it all back. I wonder how many of those nine threes were taken in the second half. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, like I said earlier, um, poorly coached game. And uh, I have to help our players um, play at a much better level than we did. Amy, learning moment. Uh, you said handsy physical half court. That's the case in the playoffs a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we've we've handled those types of teams really well. I mean, we just, you know, against a, a team like Memphis at home, uh, the Clippers, teams like that. Um, you know, tonight, I don't know what it was, kids. You know, uh, again, I'll start with me first and foremost. Um, but it was just this is a team that I haven't seen almost all season long. Um, so for whatever reason, I don't know. But you're right, the playoffs, were, it's going to be a half-court fist fight at times. And how do we react to that? 
And that's when you have to really execute. You got to screen. You got to run your sets, get your best players the ball when they're most effective. And then I just felt like there were just too many random possessions tonight. And, um, oh, yeah, tough, tough, tough loss at home. I'm sure players look at standings like the rest of us. How do you keep that from creeping into your psyche, the human nature? You got such a big cushion in the West. And it well, doesn't feel like these are necessary games like they were maybe two weeks ago. Well, I don't know. I, I think since uh, going into the break, coming out of the break, I think uh, we've done a really good job of – playing the game and not the standings, to your point, Vic. And um, you know, that's where, you know, seven games, whatever, that, that can disappear quickly. <laughs> you know, with 16 games to go now. So by no means, and you guys hear me always say it, we haven't arrived, we haven't accomplished anything, and we still have lots of blind, blind spots where we can improve upon. And obviously tonight was, uh, you know, you don't overreact, but it's disappointing how we played tonight. And, uh, you know, obviously when we watched the film, the film was a great teacher to see why we got outscored 66 to 38 in the paint, why we got outscored 19 to 5 in transition, um, why they scored 18 points off our 11 turnovers. And um, we'll learn from it. And like I said, hopefully we can go down to San Antonio and get this bad taste out of our mouth. Last one. Cool. Thanks, All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.